After several Zelda theories I've made, we know just how crazy Spirit Tracks is. The tracks are super long, the bosses are unbelievably powerful, the rupees are worth quite a bit, and the bomb flowers have the anatomy of a respawning melon. But of all Zelda items, I think I just may have found the most unrealistically deadly one in Toon Link's arsenal, the Whirlwind. Shocking, I know, but as usual, the things that appear the most weak are actually the most powerful. <coughs> Ampharos. <coughs> Because if you look at this weapon's usage, you'll notice it can pick up a lot of things. Link blows air through a pinwheel, and it is amplified out into a mini cyclone, which whizzes around in the direction you blow it until hitting a wall. And the heaviest thing I've ever seen it pick up is the boss key. If you don't know what the boss key is, it's a large golden key that he uses to open the boss door of a dungeon, where he fights the boss of the temple. And in the chilliest temple of Spirit Tracks, the Whirlwind is shown to have the capability to lift this thing off the ground. So, using this golden key as our reference, we can find out how strong this seemingly dumb weapon is. To find out the power Link blows with, we need the wind velocity. And to find the wind velocity, we need the wind force on the key. And to find that, we need to know the weight of the key. And for the weight of the key, we need the volume. For the volume, we need measurements. And finally, for measurements, we need a reference height to scale the world. Luckily, I've calculated Toon Link's height before. In Phantom Hourglass, you can fish. When you catch one, it tells you how many inches long it is. So comparing the catch to Link, we find his depressingly minute stature, 2 foot 9 inches. And this actually makes sense. All of the other adult characters are normal height, and his, um, species is generally pretty tiny. So we can now compare his height to the boss key and measure it. It's composed of two cylinders and five rounded cones. These are the formulas for the volumes of each of the shapes, or how much space they take up. Measuring and comparing gives us these measurements and these volumes. Adding together the volumes of the large cylinder, small cylinder, and five rounded cones, it is summed that the key has an extremely large volume of 0.033335439 cubic meters. That might not seem like much, but one cubic meter is huge. And just looking at the key compared to Link, it is obviously going to be about this volume. If the key is composed strictly of solid 24 karat gold, then it is packed with a density of 19,320 kilograms per cubic meter, and multiplying density by volume gives us mass. And now we await the drum roll. 644.04 kilograms, or 1,415 pounds. Toon Link, you are amazingly powerful. But just wait to see what he can do with his whirlwind. So, wind, and only wind, has to pick this up. Huh, we're off to a great start. But before I continue, I'm curious as to how much this key would cost. If Link just gave up his mission, could he just strut out of the temple with this thing and pawn it off for millions of dollars? Yes, actually. And according to its mass, the 24 carats, and the current Canadian gold price, we can use my favorite, econophysics, to calculate its gold price. If you want to see my method, I have plenty of other videos where I use it. Try my Lord of the Rings theory. But calculating this gives us its worth... $33,548,043.60 Canadian dollar. I can translate that to your currency if you want, just comment it. But as my rupee price theory states, this is 10.08 million rupees in-game. That pawn will overload his money bag. And in today's money, that's around 2,750 rupees. Cool. But now we need to get moving. Drag Force. That irony is real, because movement and drag really counterattack each other. Physically punny math jokes aside, the drag force is how hard it is to move something through the air. All we need to know is the thickness of the surrounding air, the shape of the key, and how big the key is. Easy pickles, uh, oops, typo, I intentionally left in, I mean easy peasy. Air typically has a thickness, or density, of 1.225 kilograms per cubic meter. The key has a cross-sectional area of pi times the radius squared. Basically, this area shaded in here. 
I suppose I could also calculate the area of the rest of the key, but it really doesn't matter too much, as most of the wind will only hit this big part. And since my calculations put this width at 35 centimeters, half of it is the radius, and this is it in meters. Calculating, we now have the area. And after researching online for wind tunnel experiments with a key, I found nothing. So after taking averages, I'm going to assume that the key is shaped like a small blocky bird when moving through wind. So that's a very, very rough estimate of 0.6. Mass times the gravity of Earth is the force we need here. How much force does your mass put onto the Earth? The key puts all 1,415 pounds, or 6,318.03 newtons. And I'm assuming that the wind is going to pick up the key from the side. It's going to blow its radial windstorm into the side of it and take it off the ground. Using some algebra to rearrange and solve for velocity, blammo, we have the spinning wind speed. And it is wait for part two until next time uh, oh oh dang it april fools was two weeks ago um uh anyways it's it's 410 meters per second here it is translated in the brackets for your understanding it is amazing look at this this is far beyond tornado wind speeds this is like only on par with things i've calculated nothing in real life is this fast not even jupiter's windstorms not anything well, except for maybe the speed of light and other things ridiculously high like that. But it does break the sound barrier, and according to the conservation of rotational kinetic energy, and assuming Toon Link is blowing that same speed, he does blow faster than the speed of sound. Although, the pinwheel does get very large and amplifies the wind, but for the rest of this theory I will remain assuming that Toon Link also does blow this fast. And all of this velocity is coming from Toon Link's three-foot little body. And as I promised, here is what truly makes him superhuman, who isn't actually a human. If he blows his air for half a second out of a pi r squared mouth through his fan at a velocity like this, the mass flow rate formula states that he needs to blow out 120 pounds of air. And with that classic air density of 1.225 kilograms per cubic meter, he needs to hold 43,540 liters in his lungs. And since the average human maxes out at 6 liters, Link is a superhero. His lungs can stretch 7,257 times larger than a human's. And using the kinetic energy formula, we see that in only 0.5 seconds, his blow would burn 1,071,316 calories. Talk about a workout. Who cares about lifting a boss key? But, actually... How many calories is he burning lifting a boss key that high? Well, the potential energy formula states that if he lifts it up 2 feet and 9 inches, or 0.83 meters, it would burn a measly 1,253 calories. But still an amazing workout. Alright, enough said. Whirlwind? More like superhero power containment device. Link doesn't need to refill his hearts by exercising, he gets enough of it every time he uses these tools. Until next time, I'm The Theorizer.